Hi, I'm Nick with Calibrated Power. Today on Diesel Insights, we're going to dive into limp mode. Not very fun. Uh, you're driving along in your truck, usually you're being a little aggressive with it, and all of a sudden it shuts down, check engine light comes on, maybe it downshifts into third gear. Uh, it's just this feeling of like, oh man, you really messed something up and the truck is, is not having it. There's a bunch of reasons why these trucks go into limp mode. Uh, and it's really not called limp mode, it's called D-rate. And what that means is that the truck is electronically pulling power from you. And it's doing that to protect itself. So it sees something going on, either transmission slip, mass airflow fault, overboost, underboost, over temp. Um, I mean, there's, there's probably five more that I'll get to as we go through this. And the diagnostics will come up. So you get a check engine light and they'll tell you why, but you're going to get a significant reduction in power and the truck is gonna do whatever it can to protect itself and to let you know, hey, something's not right, you gotta tone it down. All right, so we got an LB7 behind me. Let's talk about the most common one and that is the Allison transmission limp mode. And usually that happens when you're in fifth gear, you go to roll on the power with a bigger tune and instead of having that surge of torque, the truck will downshift into third gear and you'll get a 2000 RPM limit. And what it's doing there is saying, well, you're slipping clutches, the transmission is not gonna burn itself up, we're gonna lock you in the safest gear and we're gonna tone down the power big time because something's wrong. You don't have, either you don't have line pressure or you got some other transmission problem going on, it's not anticipating that you tuned it. Um, and so it's trying to protect itself. In that case, you can pull over to the side of the road, cycle the key a few times, and usually the truck will come back, you'll be able to drive it. Of course, you wanna be easy on it because uh, you don't wanna do that again. It's excessively hard to the transmission, um, but you'll be able to drive it and you'll know, you know, after you scan trouble codes that, oh, incorrect fifth gear ratio. Um, that's why I was in limp mode. Which brings me to my next point. Always scan for trouble codes. If you're gonna call in here at DuramaxTuner.com and tell us, hey, my truck's in limp mode or I got low power, or I got some other situation going on, the first thing we're gonna ask you on the phone is what are the trouble codes? And usually that's gonna lead us directly to why the truck's in limp mode. So other common causes while you're in limp mode. And low fuel pressure, really common on trucks with tunes. Um, fuel system has inadequate capacity, so it's either got a blockage in the fuel filter, it's got a bad CP3, um, stuff stuck in the sump, for whatever reason, right? It can't get the fuel pressure that it needs to make the power. And that is what it's about. If you don't have fuel pressure, you don't have power. So as we call for big power on a big tune, we're using all that fuel system capacity, and if it's not there, you're gonna get that P0087 or P1093, um, low rail pressure under power enrichment or low rail pressure, and the truck is gonna go into limp mode. Now, you're not gonna get a downshift on this one unless you continue to put your foot in it, but it, it'll, it's not a transmission protection, it's just a limp mode for the engine. So as the tr truck sees that there's a lack of fuel pressure, it's not gonna let you run those higher uh, power levels because EGTs are gonna get excessive. Um, there's a potential for uh, fuel system degradation. So it's gonna attempt to protect itself by cutting back power. Again, read trouble codes, call us, call your tuner, um, troubleshoot the fuel system. Next to fuel system and transmission, I would say the air handling system is next in line um, with underboost or overboost faults. Usually these are related to boost leaks or EGR system failures or turbocharger failures. And what the system's saying is that I'm expecting a certain amount of air and the mass airflow sensor is reading it and I'm not getting the boost that should be associated with that mass airflow at this RPM and therefore underboost or overboost. Um, overboost is usually a stuck vein. So the, the veins are stuck at too high of a position and you're getting an overboost situation. Underboost would usually be a boost leak or vein stuck low. Um, either way, you're gonna get excessive EGTs, poor drivability, maybe excessive smoke, a bad situation. It's easy to understand why the engine would try and protect itself. You're gonna get low power again, a little ding on the dash. Um, you know, all sorts of, hey, you're in trouble, pull this thing over, let's start fresh. So if your truck's in limp mode, the best thing you can do is pause. If you have a tuner, pull the tuner out, read the trouble codes, understand what the trouble codes are. If you need some coaching, you can, uh, you can call us. Um, we're happy to help, but understand the problem first. 
and then service the problem. Last thing you want to do is continue to drive the truck with, with issues, um, continue to pollute the DPF, continue to run high EGTs, low boost. Uh, it's just going to degrade the whole system. You're going to have problems with the engine, the after treatment, the emission system. It's not a good situation, so get it fixed. Um, there's a couple tools out there that can help you do that. One, our spade tuner, so you can data log while you're, um, while you're driving, and our techs may have you do that, and that'll, that'll help, help us understand, you know, is it a low rail pressure situation? Is it an underboost or overboost situation? If so, when and why? And then we can maybe help guide you to where, you know, how to fix that a little bit. Um, if not, your local tech, you know, all data, um, any GM tech, or whoever, whatever model truck you're working on can probably troubleshoot and fix that. But regardless, get it fixed. And if you're going to clear the trouble codes, if you have a scan tool and you're going to clear the trouble codes and continue to drive it, take your cell phone out and make a note and just write those trouble codes down. I can't tell you how many times I've had guys call in and give me dyslexic trouble codes. Um, it's just, it's really difficult because then I'm trying to guess like, well, that sounds a lot like an underboost code, but it might be this obscure code. And you know what I mean? Trying to figure out if that works is just a pain in the ass. So, and if you're an emissions equipped truck and you're um, getting a message on the dash that says cleaning exhaust filter, please continue driving. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go post on Facebook, tell all your friends on the forums. <laughs> The first thing you need to do is continue to drive the truck. Please, uh, the message is cleaning exhaust filter, continue driving, so continue driving until that message is gone. It's the best thing you can do for the truck. After that, you can troubleshoot, figure it out, um, try and understand it, but for God's sakes, don't pause driving the truck to go on the Facebook forum and see what that's all about. Follow the instructions you're given by the GM engineers. I'm Nick, this is Diesel Insights, thanks for watching. If you like these videos and you want to learn more, check out the Diesel Tuners blog, dieseltunersblog.com.